Everything Scary, I'm GM Haunts, and today I'm going to be reacting to and comparing the 2020 Spirit Halloween Gatekeeper to the 2011 Spirit Halloween Gatekeeper. So I think it was two weeks since we got our last Flashback Friday, when I even did a video saying I thought that they were done, Spirit was done with uh, doing flashbacks, and then this Friday, ju uh, just last one that just passed, they did re uh, release another flashback animatronic. This time, they brought back the Gatekeeper from 2011, and it weirded a little bit of people out, and it, including me. It, like I said, I believe it was two weeks since we got the last one, and then out of nowhere, Spirit brought back the Gatekeeper as part as another uh, as part of a Flashback Friday. So people were saying, and now I might make a video discussing this. Does this mean that Flashback Fridays are back? Are they coming back? And is that why they brought back Gatekeeper? They just needed a little bit of time to release other animatronics. I don't know, uh, but that is not what we're going to discuss today. For today, we're just going to look at the 2020 version of the Gatekeeper, see if he's as good as the old one, better than the old one, discuss his price, discuss how he looks, and just see if he's a good item overall or not. So, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, this is the listing for the new 2020 Gatekeeper. As you can see, he is 6 foot tall, Gatekeeper is still his name, and he is selling for $169.99, he is $170. If you order him, he's expected to ship on or before 9.30.20. Uh, just like a month before Halloween. So as you can see, this is the new version of the Gatekeeper. As most people know, he is from 2011, the original version, and now this is the new one. Uh, but before I go into too many critiques, I want to show you the video for uh, Spare Halloween's 2020 Gatekeeper. Oh yes, more souls to feed the dead. Please pass through and let us take your life. Listen to the soft singing of those that have fallen before you. They are calling your name. It is time for you to join them for an eternity. <laughs> so that is the official video for Spirit Halloween's new gatekeeper. So what I wanted to do with this to compare them is I have the other listing for the original gatekeeper right here. So as you can see, this is the 2011 Spirit Halloween Gatekeeper. Uh, as you can see, it looks very similar, has the same lantern, the skeleton hand, the same kind of build and outfit. And then this is the 2020 version of the Gatekeeper. So as you can see, just some differences. The outfit is a different color. On the 2011, it's more green. Uh, than, and then the 2020 is more gray. Also, on this one, the head is kind of raised up on the original. The head is actually kind of raised up, and the eyes are only a little tiny red light up. On the new one, um, the eyes light up, uh, the eyes lighting up is bigger, and his head is more up uh, than down. Uh, the lantern looks very similar. I don't know if there's any differences with that. Very similar again. We can only see one hand, and the other hand is in the cloak. So that is the same. I believe on the new one, he is slightly bigger in width. I think he's slightly bigger than the other one. The other one looks skinnier. Um, but obviously, so the outfit is definitely more green. We do see the kind of mesh around the outfit that's kind of ripping off on this one as well as the 2011. Just looking, oh, that's a new thing. He doesn't have the button. Um, the, oh, actually, I think he does actually. Right here. The button keeping the cloak tied on, it, you can see it more on the new one here. Uh, obviously, uh, there is the kind of uh, material that is on the floor because it's bigger than his body, and so it is kind of on the floor. And then, uh, it's more on the floor on the new one. 
Uh, as you can see, side to side, he does have a hood, uh, very similar in the new one. The glowing of the lantern uh, looks kind of similar, although the new 2020 version looks like it has more of a yellow glow than the original. They added more. Uh, yeah, definitely, you can see his eyes lighting up a lot more than the original version, that there's more, uh, there's a bigger bulb, it looks like. Um, looking at what else is here, just comparing them. Um, alright, so now, I am going to find uh, a video of the original Gatekeeper, and we're gonna compare the voices. Okay, so I have found a video of the original 2011 Gatekeeper, so, without further ado, this is the video of the 2011 Gatekeeper. So, one thing you can see, uh, he has the same phrases, I believe. Um, so, obviously, if you look at the new one, oh yes, more souls defeat the dead, please pass the real take your life. So I believe all of the phrases the original says, the new one also says. One thing, I believe the original has these uh, eyes that are kind of bluish and these are red. Although in this picture has uh, those. Uh, yeah, so looking at, I think the lantern is more yellow on the new version here. I'm uh, trying to see what other things are similar. Looking at here, so I believe Clicking the link will bring you to the same... Oh, it doesn't, actually. Okay. So, yeah, they're very similar animatronics, but they are slightly different. To an advanced collector, you would know that they're different. You can tell that they're not the same thing. Uh, now I'm just trying to... Oh, so one thing. Uh, the hand moves on the 2011 version. And his body does not move, but his hand moves. And I believe the 2020 version does the same. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. So, the 2020 version, the body doesn't move, but the hand does, and it is the same for the 2011 version. Looking at the hand there, it's a little detail. The hand looks very green, um, and then the hand of the 2020 looks more like a skeleton hand. There's more detail that looks more like skeleton fingers than just green. Uh, so, there are definitely a lot of um, a different uh, things that differentiate the 2020 version and the 2011 version. Obviously, to someone who understands or someone who's a collector or a hardcore fan of Spirit Halloween would be able to tell the difference between the original and the new one. Um, but someone maybe who, would, who, who just buys animatronics, who isn't a fan of Spirit Halloween, but they just like this, they more wouldn't be, like, wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But there are definitely differences between these. Also, one thing I noticed, the button that is here that is uh, holding the cloak together is also on the 2011 version, it is right here, but is more tucked into the shirt. So there are definitely differences. Um, one thing that is also different, the 2020 version is online only for this year, it won't be in stores, but the 2011 version was in stores, so that's another detail. I don't know what the price was of the original version, so I'm going to cut and then I'll tell you the original price. Okay, so as you can see, I am on the Spirit Halloween Wiki, uh, on the page of the original um, uh, Gatekeeper from 2011. As you can see, he was 6.1 feet tall on the old one, uh, and then he was $149.99, he was $150. Now, he is $170, so he actually went up $20 for the 2020 version, but that's just something that you could assume from Spirit Halloween. I'm not sure on his page it is saying that uh, he is six feet tall, but I'm not sure if they're just not saying 6.1. I know normally they do that. So actually, he was 0.1 feet taller. The 2011 Gatekeeper was 0.1 feet taller than the 2011, or for the, than the 2020 version, and he was also $20 cheaper. Uh, looking at other things, he uh, the original Gatekeeper from 2011 was available in 2011, 2012, and was online only in 2013. Um, and then now, Gatekeeper is just online only, and I'm assuming he won't be in stores for any future years. So that's other, another difference. He was produced by Seasonal, Visit, Seasonal Visions in 2011. I believe he was produced by Seasonal Visions in the 2020 version as well. I believe so. That's the same thing. Uh, he's a Spirit of Halloween exclusive in 2011, and he also is a Spirit of Halloween exclusive for 2020. 
Um, looking at some other things here. Lantern require two AA batteries. And now, I'm not sure, looking at it now. I'm actually not sure what it is now, but I'm assuming it's the same thing, because that stuff doesn't change. Um, looking at other things. Uh, how long is the wire for him? Uh, oh, actually, I don't think it has it written. But yeah, so that is the original 2011 Gatekeeper, and then this is the 2020 Gatekeeper. So obviously, there's a lot of differences between these two things. Some differences are pretty big. Others are kind of small things that only kind of hardcore fans or collectors would notice. But they are definitely not the same animatronic. They are 100% different things, uh, even if they are slightly different. But that is all I'm going to compare in this video for the Gatekeeper, because I think that's really all that is the differences between them. So let's cut to the outro. So I was going to wrap up my video on reacting to and comparing the uh, Gatekeeper from 2020 to the Gatekeeper from 2011. Let me know by writing a comment down below, which one do you like more? Do you like the 2011 Gatekeeper more or the 2020 version? Let me know by writing a comment down below. Are you going to be picking up the 2020 version or no? Again, comment down below. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit the notification bell to get a notification right when I drop my videos. You're not going to want to miss them. And remember, as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I will see you guys later for more Spirit Halloween 2020 news and updates. Goodbye.